Hello everybody, and welcome back to SnowRunner. So today I already have everything planned out. We are going to do some of the uh, missions today and try and get some money back in the bank account. Now today I do have a little treat for you. If you watch to the end of the video, I will tell you how to get GTA 5 along with the Enterprise Starter Pack completely free. If you watch till the end of the video, I'll reveal how to get that completely free. So, anyway, let's make a start. We are going to go and take this flatbed trailer. I think it is. Oh no, sorry, the curtain side area. I'm going to take it down to the farm to get some moolah. Let's get this attached up. Attached trailer. Yep, there we go. So, we are going to the farm. Which is just here. So that should be a fairly straightforward run for us. Especially now that we have got this... Uh, what is it again? I've forgotten what it's called. Is it a Western Star? Yeah, International Western Star. And we have now got our lovely off-road tyres. So mud shouldn't be too much of a problem. Well, at least we hope, anyway. Gonna love the tarmac. So nice to drive on. You really do feel the difference between driving on the mud and driving on the tarmac. The tarmac is so nice. Oh, got some water. I should go through here, no issues. That's it, you pull that through there, truck. You pull that through. <coughs> Have we got a bit of a frog in my throat today? Oh! You pull it! Pull it good! Yeah, this is so much better than the GMC. The GMC just doesn't have the power to pull. And into here. We were looking a lot more. So muddy. I might have to engage all wheel drive in a minute. Pull. Oh, you can do it. Do it. Oh! I have faith. I believe in you. That's it. Go, 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 go. Look at that. Those tyres have made a real difference. 130 experience and 1050 cash dollars, whatever you want to call it. So that's that one done. So. Let's go back to the farm, uh, to the farm. Let's go back up to our garage, because we have another trailer up there that wants to come down to the farm. And then we can get that one done as well. Yeah, these uh, all-terrain tyres have made such a difference to this truck. They've made it so much better. Just want to get some cash in the bank and then we can uh, get some money spent on upgrades when we found find them there. Now the mud flinging up, it's just going everywhere. Look at the state of it. <laughs> we will power through. Let's uh, do our wheel drive. Should get us through a bit quicker then. truck does uh, burn a bit of fuel. Not too bad though. Team worse. On the road again. Can't wait to get on the road again. Whoop, 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 whoop. Getting a bit giddy there. Getting a bit giddy. Ha! 
tarmac. We love a bit of tarmac. Back in here, let's go get that trailer. So if I'm right, this one here with the concrete on wants to go to the farm as well. So we'll get backed up and we'll get hooked up. That should be another job done. That's a trailer. If I'm right, this wants to go to the farm as well. So husky forward. Wet harvest. The think. Think. What's on it? Oh yeah, steel beam. Metal beams, yeah, that one's got to the farm as well. So, let's get this down there now. Ooh, feel the weight in this one. This is definitely heavier than the last uh, than the tools trailer. Feel the weight on the back of it it's sort of lifting the front end of the truck up. It just feels so much lighter on the steering. We're gonna make some moolah. I need money to get upgrades. Look at it power through. Look at that. You go for it. This is so much better than the GMC. Oh. I think we uh spoke a bit too soon there. I think the weight of the trailer is getting a bit much. You can do it, international! Pull. You get through here, you'll be my favourite. I will love you forever. Oh, mum. You can't do it. This trailer is so heavy. So much weight. I mean, all this mud is just uh, really weighing it down. Come on, you can do it. You can make it. You have the power. Oh, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Just so heavy, these uh, metal beams. Look at all those wheels. Look at it digging in the ground. It's tearing up the track. It's gonna make it so much harder next time we come through here. Nearly there. We nearly made it. Come on. Are we there? Are we there? Are we there? Right, so X. No, I don't want consumables. <laughs> we want to take this off the trailer. Oh dear, we are stuck. Let's put it in low. Let's activate diff lock. Yeah, we're in low. 
see if we can get three. Oh dear me, we are completely and utterly wedged in here. Let's see if there is anything to winch onto. Through there, let's see if we can. ourselves out. Right, so we managed to get ourselves out of that ditch. Open the cargo management. No, I want to. I want to unload it. Why is it not unloading? I'm sure it's supposed to be coming here. Or is it there that we want it? Might be there. Oh, I've managed to get myself stuck on the tree now. Don't believe it. Go back in automatic. Push ourselves back a bit. Could be there that we want to put the load into, maybe. Oh dear, we are completely and utterly stuck. See if there's another winch point we can winch to. See if we can pull ourselves forward. Oh. Bloody released it. Ugh, this isn't going too well, is it? Attach that to there. Okay. Pull. Without pulling the tree with it. That's it. Right, let's release the winch. Let's see if we can keep moving. This trailer is so heavy, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to uh, be dropped off there. I really, I really am sure it's supposed to be. Uh, there's nowhere to attach a winch. Really, I'm sure it's supposed to be dropped off there. One second, let's have a look. The husky forward, wet harvest. Oh, I've not activated it. That's why. Yeah, it was there. Thought so. Let's back it up. Let's see if we can back back into back the trailer back into that box. Yeah, that's not happening. If we can spin round. No, right. We need to try and push it back. It needs to be pushed into that. <laughs> this is not happening at all. I'm just digging myself in a hole. Okay. Anywhere I can attach a winch to. Oh, got a lag spike. What's that with crash? Oh, there we go. Right, let's attach that to there. Oh, don't pull it over. Do not pull it over. Maybe if I can winch the truck, we can pull back while reversing. That's it. Right, I'm going to detach the trailer. Drive round. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can actually get it unloaded.
Yeah, I don't know what was going on there a second ago. It's uh, it just froze up for a second. First time that's happened. So cargo management. No, we don't want. We don't want stuff. Why aren't it letting us deliver the cargo? So I'm gonna try and winch that trailer backwards. I think. If I go over here, I'm going to try and winch it back into the box and then we can get hooked up to it again and hopefully get it dropped off. So we're going to attach a winch from here to here. We're gonna pull it. Whoa. That's it. Pull it backwards. Let's get it in the box. Right, that's now in the box. We just need to get ourselves out of the hole. Did we have got ourselves stuck in the mud? Okay. Try this again. Oh. Cargo management. No, he just wants us to load our truck up. So, what we're going to do, if we attach, and hopefully, it will allow us to do it this time. To get the truck back in the box. No, nope, still not having it. Uh, right, Let's see if we can winch somewhere else. Just pull ourselves backwards while reversing just to get the truck back in there. Right, there we go. We are in. Release the winch. Tag on management. There we go. So. Metal beams, unload, done, finally. Right, so we now need to go and get, I think it was wood from the lumber mill. But we are incredibly stuck in this bog. So can we winch ourselves out? That is the question. Uh, maybe... If we do it from here onto there, then we might be able to winch ourselves backwards and get out of the ditch. That's it. That's it. Look at that magic. Right. So now we need to try and turn around. Unfortunately, this water is just so thick and muddy, it's awful. Right, so maybe put ourselves in wall, put ourselves in diff lock. We might just be able to get through this and get out. I do need to lose the trailer though, that is the issue. Yeah, this really isn't happening. Not happy about it. Well, so unfortunately I had to recover. <laughs> I couldn't get out of the mud because I was completely stuck. So what we'll do is we will go and get the wood from the lumber mill. And then once we've done that we'll recover that trailer again and get it back up to the garage to sell it. Oh, the joys. Really got to love the mud in this game. It's a... Uh, oh, damage the suspension. It's really brutal at times when you uh, get stuck in it. Really vicious mud. It wants to eat your tyres. 
on the road again. Get our wheel back on. Okay, so we want to go to the town. So if we go to the end of here, then to here. So we need to get lumber from there. I know, so if we remove that one, we go to here, then down to here, don't we? Yeah. Alright, let's go get the lumber. We're driving in the mud. You know, the fact that people really do this in real life, it must be so frustrating. Obviously, I know you get used to it after a while, and I know that it sort of becomes sec second nature to you once you've been doing it for a while, but the fact that people actually do it, it must get really frustrating to do this every day and still I keep getting stuck in the mud and just not have any rescue to get yourself out at times. It must be such a frustrating job. Really must. Tarmac. Tarmac is wonderful. And back in the mud. Back in the grizzly mud. He just wants to drag you in whenever you get into the tire tracks. Just grips you. And here's the bridge. We have a bridge to cross. One thing I really don't like about the night time on this, it's incredibly foggy. Really, really foggy. And we're going to take a right. We go, oop, oops. Haven't damaged the engine, I have no idea why I did that. Oversteer can be a bit of a problem on this. <clears throat> and then we are going down here. And we're going all the way to the lumber mill. We're going through... To be honest, this mill's not so bad. It's okay. I've had it worse. Yeah, it must be really rough on these trucks doing jobs like this. It must cause some real wear and tear on them over time. Makes you wonder how such old trucks keep going. Nearly there. So it must depend on the mission, on what order you can deliver them. So when we was doing that bridge in the previous episode, we had to deliver the metal, then deliver the wood. But in this one, it's let us do the metal beams first, which is at the bottom of the list. So I'm wondering if maybe it depends on the mission. Because it, it, depends, it might depend if it's got a cinematic or not. Not too sure. Definitely uh, something to bear in mind. Oh, two lots of wood. We got wood! Let's get this wood back to base. Farm needs the wood. Farm is desperate for the wood. And nothing's gonna stop this delivery. <clears throat> delivery it will make it nothing will stop it even with my awful driving nothing will stop it <laughs> muddy 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 it's a muddy
clean the tires, give them a wash, get all that mucky mud off them. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. We're bouncing along the road. Nearly on the tarmac. Almost there. We're here. We arrived. Right. Uh, was it left or right? I can't remember. Left. Very not to use a navigational thing if I can help it. Trying to learn the map myself, even though it is dark and foggy. And across the bridge again. Come on, you've got the power. You can do it. You should get in that farm and get stuck in the mud again. That's probably what's going to happen. But we will try and avoid it if we can help it. Here. Mud, 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 mud. More mud and rocks. Ooh. Nearly smacked into that tree then. Nearly got more wood than I wanted. Tarmac! Hooray! Feels so good. Gotta love the tarmac. It feels so much better. I know that it's an off-road game, but tarmac is always welcome. Where's the entrance to the farm now? Have I missed it? Or... I know it's there. It's there. Nearly got the second part of the delivery in. It is nearly arrived. Right, I'm going to try and avoid the track because the track's just so boggy and muddy. Just awful. So what I'll do is I'll swing round and I am going to back it into the box just. Because I do not want to get stuck in there again. And that is that done. Alright, so we now need bricks. Just pull ourselves out of the mud. And we'll have a look-see. So where are we going to get the bricks from? So wet harvest bricks. Ooh, got to go all the way over there. Okay, right, so what we're probably best off doing then is recovering the trailer we just brought here. We'll take that back to the garage on the way because we're probably going to have to scout out the way over there with the scout truck first, just in case. So let's get this trailer winched up and we're going to pull it. Out of the mud. Oh no, we're going to pull it over. <laughs> oh dear. Is there not another way we can do it? Is there not another winch point? There's only the one winch point. That's really bad. Trailer's too far away. Um, M M M M M. Right. Okay. Maybe we have to get behind it and then winch it backwards. That might be an option. That may be an option. Let's 
see if we can winch it from the back. Yeah, we can. If we winch it backwards. Then at least I might be able to get hooked up to the front of it again. Alright, so if we leave it there. And then I will back up. Get hooked up to the front of it again. And then we can get this back up to our garage. And to be honest, I think we'll sell it. Let's trail it. We have got it. Yeah, I think we'll sell it because I don't think we're going to need it because we've got the flatbed trailer on the actual truck. I don't know whether we actually need it or not. One thing I don't like about the dynamic camera is uh, it likes to flick about a bit. Right, so let's get back up to the garage. Get this dropped off. Muddy, muddy, muddy. So thick. But this truck can do it. This road is actually getting worse the more we go over it. Every time we pass over it, it just gets a little bit worse. I think it is going to get to the point where this road might be impassable until we get some uh, better upgrades. Because it is definitely getting worse. Right, let's put it into low. And then put diff lock on. And we should be able to just get through here. Very slowly. Very, very slowly. And... I think we're good. Let's take the diff lock off, put it back into automatic, and we should be good to go now. Back through the water. This trailer is really heavy. I don't know why it's so heavy, this trailer. Nothing on it, unless it's just all the wheels. But I suppose that's another reason to sell it. It's just uh, too heavy. Tarmac! Beautiful tarmac. Right, so we're nearly back at the garage. Get this into the trailer store and get rid of it. And get some dosh for it. Get some lovely dash. Uh oh, X. So, flatbed trailer sell and we get 3,800 for that. 3,800 for that trailer. Nice one. Okay. And that is that bit done. Let's go over here. So I did do a bit of organising in the yard. I don't know, I've only got a couple of vehicles. But I put the GMC just there and our little pickup is parked just there. We'll make this yard our own. We're going to park this up in here. And unfortunately, we are out of time, guys. So let's just turn the engine off. Right. That's pretty much it for the video guys, we will continue with Wet Harvest in the next episode. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I will tell you how to get GTA 5 along with the Enterprise Starter Pack, which if I'm right you get a couple of businesses and 
a million dollars, pounds, whatever the game's in, uh, completely free. So if you go onto the Epic Game Store at the moment uh, until May the 21st, 2020, so that's May the 21st, 2020, you can download GTA 5 with the Enterprise Starter Pack completely free. All you need to do is sign up to the Epic Games Store and download it and then you've got it completely free. So that's it guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep up with the content. And we'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.